Hi, 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 hi. How's everybody doing tonight? It's it's like 9.30. It's not that late. Now, this is, what topic is this? We're at the bottom here. Okay, this is for didn't, didn't do nothing, all right? Didn't do nothing. I, when I read this one, it made me laugh. Because at first I, I read it as didn't eat, didn't do no donuts. I don't know why I thought about donuts. So it says, who wants to apologize to you? Why and will they? So that may or may not be the direct title, but, you know, that's definitely the topic. So we're going to look into who wants to apologize to you. We're going to figure out why for you, those of you that don't know. Because I would think that most of the people here that randomly do click, they're gonna, they're gonna click because they're gonna, they're gonna maybe already be expecting an apology. So some of you might that might not be necessary, but the will they part, I'm gonna try to figure that part out. Will they actually do it? But who who owes you an apology basically? Who owes you an apology? Why do they owe you one? And will they? That's kind of more so what the question should be. But we shall leave it like this. I don't know. We'll see what comes out. Let me see what we should do. Mm. Okay. I have hiccups out of nowhere. I'm sorry. Kairos. Okay, so that one always makes me think of puppy dogs. Huskies. Oh, huskies. I love huskies. Okay. All right, so didn't do nothing. Who wants to apologize to you? Why and will they? We have the ring. And we have the comic. And we have the kiss. Okay. So, there's your choices. Go ahead and make your pick, and I'll see you at the pile selection, or I'll see you at your pick. Okay. Bye. Who wants to apologize to you? Why and will they? (laughs) This pile is making me think of music. I hope that keeps up, because I could go for some music right now. Okay, music sounds nice. Oh my god, this phone. Help me. I did it. Sorry, the phone does not ring, so I do not ever silence it. So it's like, I was not expecting that. So if anyone calls again, I'll have to silence it. If I'm not dealing with that, it's going to confuse me too much. Nothing will come of this situation. I want to say for a majority of y'all, if you're here, I don't think this person's actually going to actually apologize to you. How deep that goes, that might just be, they just might not literally address the issue, but they maybe apologize in another way, you know, something like that. Like they, they apologize through action, not through saying it, you know, like, I don't know. That's what that's making me think of, like instantly. Sure, we're trying to figure out who they are. So that's true. I don't know. Maybe some people are going to click it knowing who they are. Not sure why that brought me in there earlier.
love these cards. These cards feel like they're plastic, <clears throat> but they're not. They're paper. I just realized my ashtray is here. I'm so sorry. Okay, the hawk. I'm going to look, I'm going to say hunting, hunting opportunities, looking for opportunities. Okay. It's not so bad. So some of you might get some sorries. Definitely. They're waiting for the right time, I want to say. What about healing? I don't know. I want to say some of it was not very nice to you. Okay. Some of it was not very nice to you. It's definitely trying to see the right time to apologize to you. Something about healing, though. And nothing will come of the situation. So, I don't know. Maybe they're going to heat them. They're going to... Honestly, it seems like they're debating whether or not they should. Because they're trying to, they're like, nothing's going to come of the situation, so they shouldn't even bother apologizing. Like, it makes me think they're trying to decide if they should or shouldn't. This might be live. This might be happening live, people. We got a live moment. Okay? I like live moments, and I can usually sniff them, because it's like, when when I can sense that someone's in a, in a, in a sense of decision-making, yeah, that means it could be happening, right? Yeah, okay. A letter. I don't know. All right. Oh my gosh, my leg. I don't know why I'm not sitting right tonight. It's not very cozy. All Okay. I'm not ready yet. Hold on. I need some chapstick too. Hold up. Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> okay. Hi, I'm back. So, <clears throat> if you skip the beginning, this is this is a request from Didn't Do Nothing, all right? And it's who wants to apologize to you? Why and will they? Okay. So, option 1 is the ring. Okay. Option two is the comic. Option three is the kiss. Okay, so go ahead and pick your choice, and I will see you at your option. Okay, I will see you there. Okay. okay. Let me get comfortable. I'm not very cozy tonight. I don't know why. Maybe I'll just do cross legs like this. No. <laughs> so, anyways. Who wants to apologize to you? Why and will they? Okay, <clears throat> we have the ring, okay? Option one, the ring. Or who wants to apologize to you? Why and will they? So, I want to say who. I want to say someone that you had a past commitment with. So that, like, the ring always makes me think because there's, like, so many rings. So it's like, it could be any type of commitment. It could be a marriage. It could be a relationship. It could be a roommate. It could be a family member. It could be a, like a mother. I mean, someone that you had a commitment with. Even if you were like some type of born commitment. I don't know. <clears throat> Something with, I want to say, I'm not sure yet. Balancing spirituality and practicality, practicality, full moon and Pisces. So they might be a Pisces because who we're trying to figure out who they are. Who are they? They might be a Pisces. And the other one's, of course, moon. So there's no other zodiac signs and, or just any water sign because then we got water. It says work with the elements of water for healing, purification, and refinement. Okay. So, yeah, this person is definitely... Um, uh, definitely a water sign. Branch out to New Worlds. I want to say they're someone that's. I want to say they've been they've been around. Like I want to say maybe they've traveled a lot. That's it. They tra this is someone that's traveled a lot. I want to say they're extremely good with their words. We got King of Swords. Okay, thirty. So they're like I don't know. I want to say they're somewhere around the age of thirty. I want to say within four years. So they could be twenty eight to thirty two, like something like that. You know what I mean? Like thirty is like the. The midway point here for them and the ring I don't know I don't know definitely with that for sure <clears throat> but let's see what else is it so it's who wants to apologize to you why and will they I don't know why yet nothing will come of the situation is this one card so I want to say maybe they're not going to apologize to you okay I have a piece of lint on my lip I want to so I don't know I'm not sure Maybe they feel like they, I don't know, maybe they feel like they can't. I'm not sure. Fertility. So, yeah, this is making me think it could be a child, even. Mm -hmm. Then we got a horse. So, yeah, they're a free spirit. They likely have, I want to say, messy hair. <laughs> they might braid it. Okay, because this horse has, I'm trying to help you figure out who this person could be. So, it's like, this person's got a lot of hair. And they might have some Sagittarius in their chart. Let's see. They're in a, I want to say a loyal person. Letters. I want to say the way they're holding the letter. Let's be honest here. The way this person is holding the letter, it's like, uh, like that. I feel like this person doesn't really like to receive letters or messages. Like, yeah, like they kind of like, yeah, it's, it's something with messages. Yeah, they got their tail down to that. Definitely messages give them. Lack of confidence. I don't know. Something with foes. They, I don't know. They don't like messages. And yeah, so when they receive a message, they look at it and they're like, ah, oh, oh. it's like that's kind of how they are about it. So they might have some anxiety. Okay, this person might have some anxieties. So that's what I'm saying. Maybe, maybe that's what their apology is. Their apology is basically that anything they've ever done to you that I feel like they're saying they had to do because they were, they have some anxiety disorder. I don't know. 
so that makes me think they this is someone that never really really did anything to you too too bad like they might have just maybe offended you by accident or something like this all right yeah we got the bouquet in reverse so maybe they rejected an offer to you and I want to say they're apologizing for that. They're apologizing for rejecting any offers that they've ever that you've ever given them because they're. Just, I want to say they didn't see them. They didn't notice them. They're too busy being wild and free. And we see this third eye. So I want to say they were definitely like, I want to say living in their thoughts a lot. Okay, we got the letter again. We got the letter twice. So this might be that someone's just not writing you and they're, that's what it is. Someone might've ghosted you and they might've made a commitment to you. Like this might've been someone who's like, we're going to be friends forever. This is what's making me think of like best friends forever. And then it doesn't happen. Like they disappear on you. I feel like they're saying that they didn't forget about you. They're coming back. I want to say something just got in their way with the path and the journey. I don't know. So I guess in praying, I want to say they're trying to talk to you telepathically. They're trying to tell you, they're trying to apologize to you in part. I want to say this is someone that wants to apologize. If there's any apologizing this person has to do to you, they're like, I'm doing it in person. Because if it's not in person, this person's just, I want to say, someone, like if they don't get, you know what I'm saying? If it doesn't get that close, like that personal, there we go. If it doesn't get that personal, this person's not going to go that far out their way to apologize. Not for, not for much. I don't know, healing. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I want to say they're, they're kind of un, 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 uh, unapologetically apologetic. Like, they apologize. But I feel like, yeah, they're definitely something this person wants to apologize for. But it's, if it's something big, they know about it. And they want to apologize, too. But I want to say they'll, they won't never write it. Falseness. Sideways, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, they definitely know. They just don't talk about it. But they know about it. If you guys talk, as I said, we got the messages. So I don't know. You could bring it up to them. Maybe that'll just stir it up. But I feel like that would definitely, that's maybe, that's what the anxiety is. The, no, that's what I said. This person wants to talk to you about it in person. But I feel like whatever, that makes me think that it's because there's a logical explanation. Okay. That makes me think of when I have to explain things to people. It's like, I don't want to tell, and I'm not going to text it to people. And I'm definitely sometimes not going to talk to people. So it's like, sometimes you got to be all up in me. You know what I mean? I got to see everything. I don't know. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. So it's like all that, it's like certain things have to be done in person. So I guess this person's like, forget it. I'm only going to apologize if it's in person. I'm not doing it out of like, out of their own context. They're like, I'm not bringing it up and I'm not apologizing unless it's in person. And then I feel like because they haven't brought it up to you, that might make, this might make you think that there's some fake person or something. And it's like, no, they definitely remember about it, but it's like, I want to say they had a, they have a definitely a totally logical explanation that's very long winded. It's a long story, basically. It's a long story. If I could put an emphasis on them, if they could tell you, they'd be like, listen, I want to say sorry for X, Y, Z, but it's a long story. So I just can't. And, and I feel like if it's something like that, they're like, it's too important for this person to just say it like that. They'd rather not even talk about it because they like, it deserves more, more, more justice than that. Something with healing. I don't know. The woods be like the woods, calm, soothing, mysterious, and full of life. Oh, underneath the horse. Excuse me. So that's like a horse running through the woods. Okay. And some sim. And then triple spiral, listening to divine wisdom and joyfully learning life's lessons. So that's what I'm saying. For the majority of you, though, because that's just for some of you. That was like just one specific story, maybe. But for the majority of you, though, this person definitely doesn't really have anything really to apologize to you to other than just casual hiccups, I want to say. Just social hiccups. Maybe they didn't understand what she meant. Maybe there's something like that. Okay, and they were just, they're just trying to be them, and they're, they're sorry, they're, they're, basically, they're, they are who they are, and they're, they're not going to apologize for who they are, they're not, they're harmless, basically, and they're like, don't, you know what I mean, yeah, something that's making me think of Pisces, and then we do have the Pisces card, so, this is definitely someone that's very fun, like, happy-go-lucky, so, I'm going to say, I don't know, with the falseness card, I feel like maybe you don't like that, but I, I don't know, okay, and we got Heliconia, realization. The answer is here. Take heed. So, 
Oh, goodness. I got hiccups. I got burps. Oh, yeah. Then I got yawns. I'm getting attacked, eh? At all angles. So I feel like you're going to come to a realization, maybe all this. And it's, I feel like that's going to put some things to rest for you. And then we have the, the time card just flashed me. So I feel like with water, I feel like maybe hearing this, just I feel like maybe for the ones that did maybe more resonated with that than, than I thought, you know, and maybe the ones resonated in where, where, where the person was hiding that, that, that they wanted to apologize to you about something. And I, I feel like maybe me just telling you that, no, no, they remember and it's something that they want to apologize to. I feel like they apologize to you all the damn time. But they just can't do it to you for something with uncertainty. Yeah, I want to say you're too uncertain for like they just don't know. They're not. They're they, they. Nothing will come of this situation. They don't know if it's worth it. They don't know if it's worth apologizing for. Honestly, for those of you that are resonating with it, so it's like. But they definitely want to. They have with this card here and the letters and the anxiety. Yeah, they definitely have. They've like literally, I want to say vocalized it maybe even like they've been apologized, but they feel like saying it to you like any other way is too half-assed. So it's like, unless, yeah, unless they can see something coming of the situation, they'll never, I feel like they might not never say anything about it. Okay. Let me get Nikki Nash Chun Li. I don't know what that means. I'm not getting anything. As to, let me see, let me read the question again. Who wants to apologize to you? Why and will they? So, I don't know. I must give you something. Maybe, I don't know. So, I hope that gave you some answers, some insight, and some clarity. And if not, then I don't know, maybe pick another pile. But if so, then, okay. So, and you have a good night. Okay. Okay. My goodness. I'm exhausted. I'm, I've been beat up over this. It's okay. Option two. Whew, the comic. I gotta wake up. Okay, I gotta get some excitement in my life. Yes, this is the one that was making me think of music. Okay, yeah, so yay, this is picking me up. It's giving me like a breath of fresh air. Okay, like yay. All right, this is making me think of that song. I don't remember the name. I'm dumb and broke. Okay, I don't know why. It's just a sad, funny person. I don't know, a sad clown. I don't know. This person is someone I say that, I want to say they put on a happy face. They're, they got a whole nother life behind this happy face. So whatever whatever type of person you know this to be, they definitely got a whole nother side to them. So who this is, there's someone with some duality. So who wants to apologize to you? Why and will they? All right. Work through your fears. New moon and Scorpio. Oh, I'm going to say, will they? I don't know. We got nothing will come of this situation and work through your fears. I want to say they definitely want to, maybe have tried, but they died. They haven't yet. They haven't succeeded yet. With the hawk, I feel like they're waiting for the right opportunity. They might, You might get a message one day with about it, just saying it. Mm -hmm. I want to say whatever they say. Whoever this is and whatever they say, it's it's definitely ten of cups. It's it's I wanna say it's everything they got. I don't know. Victory. So I think they will apologize to you. So who this is? I wanna say they're masked. I'm not quite sure if we're gonna know. All right. But we got journey here. Branch out to new worlds. I don't know. Unicorn. Okay. Like a unicorn, when it gets its wings, it becomes an alicorn, I think. Yeah? That's funny. So something with water. What does it say for water? Work with the elements of water for healing, purification, and refinement. And we have the healing card. And the healing card says, can the flame burn this hour? Burn to me your healing power. So... That makes me think 
this is someone who's definitely going through some type of healing. They might be a water sign. I want to say they're like a desert rose. Like, I don't know what that means to you, but because this card is not desert roses, but that you can clearly see these lilies are growing out of concrete or something. So they're like a wallflower type thing. They're like a, there you go, like a unicorn. All right. That's who this person is. I want to say they're, they're someone, victory, like a champion. I don't know. But they hide how awesome they are behind some type of, I want to say kitty cat mask. Something about a birthday. Your birthday matters. I don't know. Because he's wearing a birthday hat, this cat. This cat's wearing a birthday hat. Right? And clouds. King of wands. So, this is making me think of someone that maybe lied about their birthday or lied about their age to you. Mm-hmm. And they hide it. I don't know if they lied and said they were older or if they lied and said they were younger. But they got fears of telling you this. I don't know. It's it's cloudy. It's a mystery. Like I said, the mask. All right, the moon in reverse. Or, hey, come on, man. Definitely, some mysteries going on here. Eight of Cups mysteries. All right, so it's like walking away and not saying it. Interesting. So this was someone you met in your life. I want to say you met them through a mystery platform. So this could be anywhere online. You didn't never really see them, their face necessarily. You didn't necessarily know them, right? And you, you meet them, and that's how it is for them. They're, they're a mystery like that. And they want to apologize to you for something. What do they want to apologize to you for? I want to say for going poof on you. Like, this is making me think of a genie. Like, poof. All right? Something with their fears. But something about a birthday. Yeah, some of you definitely, someone's lying about their age. And this scares them because they're worried that if they tell you the truth about their age, you're going to walk away from them. So this might be someone that you're talking to and dating. Mm -hmm. And they're definitely pretending their age. I don't know. Older or younger, not quite sure. Maybe they just lied about their date, their date of birth, like their actual birthday. They might not be lying about their age or nothing like that. They might just be lying about their birthday in general. It's like, you know what I mean? But either way, this is someone that isn't, I want to say, isn't necessarily in your life. They kind of just went, they kind of ghosted you. Not the Six of Cups. So, I mean, not the Six of Cups. It's like the number six. So it's like the thing we think of the lover's card. With the Ten of Cups over there. So it might be someone that you, you know what I mean? And I want to say you thought they were a very loyal companion. Okay, I want to say something happened. Destiny. And a tree, a tree, 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 okay? So what do they want to apologize? I want to say they want to apologize for, I want to say, hiding who they are from you. And I feel like you walked away from this person. That's what it is. You walked away from this person, and they have a missed opportunity. And I feel like now they just kind of linger in your life on the sidelines and pretend to be someone else, maybe. And... They're like, I want to say they're cheering you on. They're, you know what I mean? They they see you as something really special. They have no hate for you. They're not a hater, but they're definitely a, like, a, I want to say a fan of yours. But I say there's no, you know, you can be friends. This is a friend of yours from this on the side. They, it hides. But it's because they realize they missed an opportunity with you because they were too poofy with you. You know, like they were too, dis they, they disappeared too much. And you walked away from them. And they want to apologize, but they see it as nothing will come from apologizing. I feel like you, you walked away so good that, they, that there's nothing they can do. Mm -hmm. right? And I feel like they see that you're totally healed from it, like you're not even bothered by it. So there's no point in even, I want to say, coming out of the woodworks and even being, like, yeah. So basically, is this person going to do it? No. Why? I'm going to say, I don't know. That's their own business. Okay. Merchant. Yeah, I want to say missed opportunity for sure. 
they they missed an opportunity to be with you because they, I want to say they didn't they did they, something with their fears. Yeah. Little luxuries generates luxurious experiences and surroundings. So, yeah, maybe they were too busy. I want to say too busy with life's life life's luxuries. Victory. They might be a unicorn themselves, you know, and they were too busy being a unicorn. That makes me think of that 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 poem that I memorized. The unicorn, not the unicorns. Is it the unicorns? Yeah, and it says that the unicorns were off silly la laughing and playing silly games. Like the unicorns didn't listen when the disaster struck, so they ended up getting washed away, and they got extinct. You know. And Noah kept telling them, come on, get on the boat. And they wouldn't listen. And then the, the boat had to go, and they ended up getting washed away. That's how the unicorns got extinct. That's the story in the in the poem. I love that poem. You know? So, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. You both are probably unicorns either way. They let their surroundings and their experiences get in the way, and they're sorry for that. But are you in this opportunity? I don't know. They think you are. Triple moon, embracing all aspects of yourself, the divine and the earthly. That makes me think of the healing card and then the journey card and then the water card. Like, that makes me think that they went off on a journey afterwards. And it, like I want to say, like maybe it woke them up a bit and they went on some type of self-reflecting. And maybe they got, they're getting in touch with themselves now. So maybe that's what the healing is. So maybe they're not going to apologize anytime soon. Maybe they will still apologize. Just not anytime soon. They're on maybe some type of healing journey. And they got to finish with that triple moon. That makes me think of three moons time. So maybe a month. One full month, you know, because this does look like one cycle. So it could be one full month's time they did, they're gone. Or it could be three months that they're gone. I want to say one to three months. Just to throw a number out there for funsies. And then we got crocus breathe. Calm, rest, stop, and just be, and it's in reverse, okay? So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. This person might might have disappeared on you, and they're apologizing for it. They're saying, like, relax. I feel like they're coming back. When they work through their fear, they got to heal something, and then they got to work, and that's going to make them work through their fear of, I want to say, taking off their mask and unveiling who they are to you for reals. So I want to say, they get they, yeah, they're having to take a time to, to calm Calm, rest, stop, and just be, basically. I want to say they watch you, though. They keep an eye on you. They definitely keep you in their thoughts. If not, like, in their real eye, in their third eye. They, they definitely keep you in their thoughts, okay? And I want to say they wish the best for you. With the victory card, I feel like they recognize you. Like, like when real real recognizes real, you know, like, they see that you, you're both just the same thing. And that they just missed out. And I feel like they, they feel like, I feel like they... I don't know. They feel like that boat will come around with this destiny card. With these unicorns, man. They feel like the boat will come back around if it's for them. But I feel like once they're done healing, they'll make a decision on whether or not to apologize for ghosting you. So that makes me think whether or not they're going to come back. Because who's going to come back and, and not apologize for ghosting? That's rude. All right? So it's, yeah, Are You That Somebody by Aaliyah. And it was in reverse. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, they they they, they kind of question if you're that person for them. I feel like they have the hots for you. They like you. And I feel like they're shy with you. And but they like they said they see the, they see it as if it's meant to be that boat will come back around. If it's a missed opportunity, oh well, I had to work through my fears. I had to heal. I had to do this. I had to do that. This stuff had to come first. And if that boat couldn't wait for me, then it wasn't my boat. That's literally how this person feels. They're like, if I couldn't, I want to say, tell, work through my fears fast enough. Yeah. They're like, if I couldn't work through my fears fast enough to get to a, an apology for this person, because this person has something to apologize for you to about, I would say, other than just ghosting you. So, yeah, that's what it is. Okay. So music, there is a melody to be heard in the deepest parts of the woods if only we listen. So that's making me think of, yeah, being busy listening to music. <laughs> so is it nothing will come of this situation? Can you expect this person to apologize anytime soon? I want to say no. Listening to music makes me think they're, they're blocking things out. So that's why I said one to three months maybe. You never know. You know, maybe even like 
Yeah, I don't know. Who this is to? I'm not sure, but you can definitely get some insight in uh, what they want to apologize to you about. Is that one of the, part of the question? Why? Yeah, why do they want to apologize? I want to say for ghosting you or for abandoning you or for not showing you who they were or for not telling you who they were. There's a few different versions, but that's what they want to apologize for. Maybe some of them, all of it. All right. So I hope you enjoyed. Okay. Bye. Okay, my God, I'm getting tired. I'm not going to sleep out of this. I ain't going to fall asleep to the damn time stamps up this time. I ain't doing it. Right. Okay, option three, the kiss. Okay. All right, so who is this? My goodness. Okay, so who wants to apologize to you? Why and will they? the kiss okay i want to say this is someone that you want to kiss who is this someone you want to kiss but you definitely haven't because got nothing will come of the situation okay we got emotions are running high in reverse so that makes me think that someone you used to have emotions with and you don't have emotions for them no more you kind of let your emotions go on them mm-hmm I want to say with the moon. And it was in reverse, so... I don't know. Maybe you're supposed to. I don't know. Divine guidance. That's okay. That's what I'm saying. This is someone that you either were divinely guided to or away from. I'm not sure. Because we have the healing card. And this is about apologies, mind you. So I want to say someone who, someone that you watch, you see, someone you see, I don't know how you see them, but work with the elements of water for healing, purification, and refinement. This is someone I said that's very picky and choosy about their words, very refined with their with their words. I say their words because I keep thinking about letter because this is the letter card over here. So this person has likely thought about apologizing to you plenty, okay? But they have not written it, I want to say, because of this refinement here. Purification and refinement, they need to heal fully. Their their apology, I want to say, is so deep that it's like it needs time. It needs editing, I want to say. Yeah. Dragon, and it was kind of like sideways. So it's like, yeah, no, this person, I want to say, they're even, they're even peel, this person. But this person's got dragon energy. So that means this person can go OMG on you, or they can just go completely gray rock on you. So this person's, I want to say, definitely evened out. That makes me think they are healed. Okay. Journey, they might have gone on a journey that's healed them out, helped them balance out this dragonness in them. Okay, but that bottom line is that's what it is. They want to apologize for, I want to say, for ripping into you. That's what it is. They ripped into you somehow. Oh, maybe they wrote you a nasty letter, but they ripped some. They ripped into you, and it wasn't very nice. And I feel like they see it as they don't even, I don't even know if they remember what they did, but they just remember not being nice to you. You know what I mean? I don't know. But it's kind of like maybe like they, they bump in. This might be someone that bumps into you later in life. And then they're like, they forget why. Yeah, maybe they forget why y'all don't talk. I don't know. But then they eventually remember it. That's what it's making me think. So that's why this person's like, well, it must be meant to be. So they're like, this person, I don't know. This person sees everything is meant to be. So emotions are running high. I feel like this person d- detaches. So you might have caught this person on a really bad day or during a really bad time in their life, maybe during a state of detachment. So um, maybe there was some bad situations in their environment that they were working through. Okay, adaptation. Change will be better than you think. So it's like, yeah, maybe they had to change. So maybe they had to change them in their lives. So I'm saying if they had dragon energy and that dragon energy wasn't in control, 
Oh my, they probably weren't being very nice to people, okay? Yeah, they were making people feel like this, like, you know, so they put the dragon in, I want to say, because it came out sideways, they put it in check. Then, then, I mean, they got it. A box card, yeah, no, there's no illusions. This person knows exactly who they are, and they know exactly what to do with it, but, like, yes, I'm saying, with the hawk card, they want the right time, the right time to apologize to you. Healing, I feel like they're healed. Nothing will come of this situation. I feel like this person's like, they don't care if nothing comes of the situation. This is about them. This is you know, this is dragon energy at the end of the day. This person's like, I'm going to clear my chest with this person regardless. But I feel like they're only going to do it when they have no other chances with you. Like, if you guys are friends... They're they're gonna do it when they see the best time to do it, like when it's when it's the right time to bring it up. If it's something that you know, if they, this, this is making you think of someone in particular, and you want an apology about something, maybe bring it up to them, and they might use that as their opportunity. You know, because like I said, the, the refinement and purification. They're gonna tell you the truth, and they're gonna give you yeah, and emotions. They they they, they, they might cry emotions. Okay, I feel like you're going to kiss this person when they apologize to you. I don't know why. But um, basically, um, whether they cry or not, I feel like you're just going to feel so like they're so sweet for apologizing for whatever it is that they did. But um, it says to work with the elements of healing. So as I'm saying, they had to go off and heal. And they, they, it's on their checklist, I want to say, to take care of. But they see it as a right place, right time type of situation like they know it takes time to heal for whatever they did so they're not rushing to do it but they're going to do it for them so it's like they're going to leave they're, this is the type of person that'll leave you a, a, an anonymous letter and like never say anything ever again because they just had to get that off their chest and let you know you know what i mean like their apology and bye type of thing so it's like as i said if you're in conversation with someone that, that i'm making you think of then that's what it is. They're they're just waiting for the right time to say it to you. And if you, I want to say, if you want to rush that time, I feel like this person, if they're healed, they'll they'll talk about it with you. If they're not healed, then the dragon might come out. So it's up to you. If the dragon comes out, then I don't know. I see it as the dragon shouldn't come out. So they should. I feel like this person's healed. They're just not doing it yet. So, anyways, the ship. Yeah, that's more about journey. But ten of swords. The journey's done. That's what I'm saying. They're like about to be healed or they are healed. Ten of cups. So this person really cares about you. That's what I'm saying. I have a feeling that this person ripped into you and it was kind of like they mommed you. Ugh, I hate saying that, but it's like they mommed you and they mommed you good. And they might have mommed you real nasty and real mean or something. They might have been really mean about it, you know, but they were just, I feel like overall, they were just trying to be good. Like, they were just trying to look out for you, but they were just angry. And they, I want to say, with healing and things like this and dragon energy, dude, they're probably going through something. Okay. You don't get dragon energy to have an easy life. So they have servant. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They were going, they had a hard life. They had a lot going on with whatever the hell that caused them to do that to you. I want to say caused, you know? This person doesn't like to blame people, so they take full accountability for anything they've ever done or said to you. But it's like, I feel like, yeah, there's things that took, there's there's certain account, account, account there's the story behind it, you know? But at the end of the day, they're like, I'm not even going to bother explaining the story to you. I'm just going to own up to it and apologize to you for for, for doing wh what I did and, and being, you know, what it was and, and basically saying farewell to you, basically. That's the case. So then the night. Find com com find comfort in the night where the world switches off and the stars burn bright. As I'm saying, they, they need to feel good about themselves. They are they lose sleep over this. They definitely want to, to apologize to you about something. And I feel like I don't know how you're going to behave because I'm not even in your I'm, I haven't even tapped into who you are. I'm looking at who the hell this person is. So it's like, yeah, I want to say they're definitely on the fence, like they're working it, and I would say they stay up at night thinking about it, maybe, okay, sun card, the, the, the ship always makes me think of closing distances, so, oh, it makes me think of in person, so, I mean, they might be writing and re-editing and trying to figure out a way to do it, and really, really self-reflecting on when and how and what really to say and how to formulate it, how to explain it all to you, and I feel like that's what's 
holding them up the most. And then I feel like if they can't formulate what to say to you, they figure, oh, well, I must not be fully healed yet. I don't want to, you know, come off the wrong way again. You know, I don't want to, you know, do that to them again. Because as I'm saying, I have a feeling this person did that to you, but I feel like they were doing that to everybody. And they realized that. And they're like, they realized why. And they've done fixed it. So it's like, they're trying to let you know, like, hey, I've done fixed me. But regardless of that, I'm sorry what I did to you. But I was, things were going on that made me behave this way. You know, like there's reasons for this person's behaviors. But they, they apologize for what they did. They're not, they're not like making excuses, if that makes sense. So the sun, the golden energy of the sun brings fame and fortune. So I don't know. That's making me think of the truth. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. This person wants to really make sure you understand them. Oh. Excuse me. That makes me think this person gets okay. This person gets misunderstood a lot. Miscommunications. This person, everybody misunderstands them. So it's making me think that if they were to type it, if they didn't type it properly, you might misunderstand them and think this way. Either. And maybe that's what even happened. Maybe they mommed you in a way that you misunderstood, and you totally are upset about it, or they're worried you're upset about it. They're worried you're upset about something that they did, and they want to apologize. So you might not even care. I want to say, you might be thinking, what the hell? I don't care that they said that to me. This person thinks you do, and they want to apologize to you about it. I want to say they think about it a lot. I'm going to say they think about it night and day, okay? The night and the sun. They think about it all the time. Ten of swords, yeah. That makes me think they're going to bring it up to you eventually. Okay, gratitude. Yeah, be thankful for what is good now. So this person's a very grateful person, Okay. And at the end of the day, that's what it is. They just want to thank you. I want to say, oh. ah, they want to thank you for something. Okay, you, Galantis. Yeah, what's that song? I remember you. Yeah, something about remembering them. So yeah, they're saying that they remember you. I want to say if you don't talk to this person anymore, because like I said, we're just trying to figure out who this is. This isn't necessarily someone you know of. All right, it's. Who wants to apologize to you? Why and will they? So who it is, I want to say it's someone that you know, you've known for a bit. It's someone from the past. And I want, like I said, someone that you want to kiss. I mean, you've thought about kissing and holding hands with. This always makes me think of going out on a date. Like, oh, the cutest little dates, you know, like at the, in the nighttime. So this is someone you either went on a date with or something like this, you know. But that's it, and that's, that's who it is. So I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that was good. I hope I didn't bore you, because I was pretty, I don't got a whole lot of energy tonight. I'm super exhausted. I don't know why. So I'm going to go sleep after this. So I hope you have a good night. Bye.